Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel and this is Manju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So, okay, in this video, I am going to discuss with you if you are not having primary key in a table, how you are going to validate the data. So, this is a most asked interview question here in ETL testing. So, we are discussing here in this video. So, before starting video, if you are not subscribed to SQL Master, kindly subscribe to SQL Master to get ETL testing related videos. So let's get started friends. So I have questions here and you can see the question. Okay, what is the question? So how to validate the data if we are not having primary key? So validating data without primary key can be challenging. Okay. So as the primary key serves as a unique identifier for each record in a database table. However, there are alternative methods you can use to validate data even when primary key is not available. So here are few approaches. So first one is composite keys. If the data set has multiple columns that together can uniquely identify each record, you can create composite key by combining those columns. Use the combination of these columns as a unique identifier and perform data validation based on the composite keys. Second approach is unique constraints. Check if there are any unique constraints defined on the data sets column. Unique constraints ensure that no two records have the same values in specified columns. You can leverage these constraints to validate data based on the uniqueness of the values. The third approach is business rules. Identify specific business rules or constraints that can help you validate the data. For example, if you are having a data set of employees, you could check if the combination of their email address and employee number is unique, even if there are there is no primary key. So data consistency check. So perform checks on data set to ensure data consistency. This can involve examining the relationships between different columns and verifying that the data adheres to predefined rules or patterns. For example, you could check if the date of birth is before uh, the date of hire for all employees. So next approach is external references. If the data set includes references to external entities, validate the data by verifying the existence and consistency of those references. For instance, if you have data set of customers and their orders, you can validate that the customer ID reference in each order matches a valid customer record. So next approach is data sampling. If the data set is large and data validation on the entire set is not feasible, you can perform the random sampling to validate subset of data. Analyze the sample data for consistency, uniqueness and adherence to business rules. Data profiling. So conduct data profiling to gain insights into the data set structure and characteristics. Analyze data patterns, frequency distributions and data ranges to identify any anomalies or inconsistencies that require validation. So while these approaches can you help to validate data without primary key, it's important to note that Having primary key or a unique identifier greatly simplifies data validation and ensures data integrity. Okay, so next one small question is what are the ways of updating table when SSIS is being used? So answer is this is common ETL testing interview question asked in the interview. Okay, so please find you can below find supported answer here. So to update table using SSIS, uh, the following steps can be performed. So use a staging table to store the stage data. Use cache to store the data which uses limited space and requires frequent refresh. Use scripts to schedule tasks and make use of full database name for updating MS SQL. So these are these two are few questions okay about uh, ETL testing latest questions and answers. If you really like this video like it and share it and kindly subscribe to SQL master. So I will be with you with some more new concepts about ETL testing in future videos. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, bye bye. Have a nice day. Take care friends.